Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for the lack of uploads recently. Obviously it's come up to Christmas. Uh, I am also an illustration student, so I have university work to do, uh, despite my age. The reason I'm making this video uh, is because I've had a lot of people asking me how to move an object once you've selected it inside Critter. So we're gonna have a look at that today. Uh, forgive the parcels in the background there. As I say, it's coming on Christmas. Uh, right, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is look at outline selection or square selection, circle selection, whatever selection you want to make. As you can see from our screen here, we have a black circle and a red oblong shape. Both of these objects are on separate layers. Um, just for this demonstration. <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do is the outline selection tool. So you can see that if I come over here to the left side, you'll see my little cursor moving around on it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to select that here. And then picking a layer we want to adjust. So I'm going to stand the red one here. Always make sure that you have selected the right layer. Then with the outline selection tool, you're gonna draw your shape, whatever it might be. Uh, once you've completed the connection, you'll see what they call ants in the selection space that you've made or running around the edge of it. Then we're gonna come over to the tool that looks like it looks like a photo frame and it's got eight squares around it, two at the bottom corners, two at the top corners and four in the middle lines. Uh, that's our movement tool, the transform a layer or a selection tool. The shortcut for this is control T, same as it is in Photoshop. So we just click on that and you'll see your selection will now have this bounding box around it. <clears throat> this is now going to allow you to uh, transform your selection. So, without holding shift, it uh, you know gives you this. If you're holding the centers, it just allows you to enlarge it from up and down axis. Don't know what the axis is. Uh, from the side square, you can only go left or right. Into free form. You need to go into the corners and it allow you to make all these weird shapes and that sort of stuff. Okay. So if you are happy with that, once you're good to go, you can hit enter and it'll take you back to your uh, walking ants. To get rid of this, it's control shift A and it will remove the selection or command shift A I don't even know if you can get Critter on a Mac, to be honest. I don't use a Mac, I use a PC. Um, so yeah, that's how you would transform something uh, using the outline selection tool, which is here, and the transform selection tool, which is this one here. You can see it highlighted there. Okay, outline selection tool, transform layer tool. You can also use the uh, circle. I hold shift for uh, when you're making an ellipse. It will keep it a uniform shape. If you don't, it allows you to freeform. Once you're happy with that, back to your transform layer selection window. And it'll allow you to move up and down. If you hold in the center and you get these four crosshairs come up, allows you to remove your selection. So if I control the back to begin, I can also press delete and it'll remove the selection completely. Control shift A to unselect. There you go. Uh, I hope you found this informative. I hope this has helped in, in some way or another. Uh, uh, if there's anything else you you want to see from me, uh, 
by all means drop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I try to get back to every question uh, inside the comment section and I've been very lucky and for the lovely community that I have so far um, have been very accommodating and helping others uh, figure things out uh, so I thank you all for that um, yeah so if you've got anything else you want from me let me know in the, in the uh, comments below and I'll do what I can to help you take care guys